Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Fiend Folia. I don't know why I said Mega Modded, but Fiend Folia. Uh, we're going to jump in again. I'm playing straight on after the last run. I'm going to randomise. We're keeping the randomised path mod on, even though I'm still not really sure about it. Uh, I'm going to do a few more randomizers and yeah, I was going to say see if we get someone a bit more interesting. And that right there is indeed someone a little bit more interesting. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, there he is. I was like, where the fuck's Andromeda? <laughs> I definitely have him installed. Couldn't figure out where he was. Okay. Let's go ahead and see how we do with this guy. This dude plus Fiend Folio has me a little worried. I've got to admit. This dude plus Fiend Folio really got me, uh, got me a little scared. As for the question of the day today, I have asked it before, but I think it's a good question to ask every now and again. What is the last dream that you can remember? What is the last dream? I had a really weird one. I, I had one that I got like... I got like surrounded by like, I don't know, I don't even know what it was. It was like these tree people things. I don't know where, like I must have seen something about it recently like on YouTube or something. Cause normally it's like what's most recently in your memory is something that you dream about. And yeah, I had this dream about these like tree people things. And it wasn't like a stress dream though. Cause they, they weren't like bad or evil or anything. It was just kind of like they were there and they were like following me, but they weren't doing anything. They were just kind of about. And I don't know, it was really creepy sort of after I woke up, but I, I I remember in the dream it wasn't creepy, which is a really, oh, this is a bit of an annoying room, um, which is a really weird, ah, oh, you, this is a horrible room, I'm going to take a lot of damage in here. Yeah, which is just a really weird dream to have, because I was just, it's just confusing. I, I kind of woke up and was like, wait a minute, was I supposed to be scared? <laughs> I wasn't. But was I supposed to be? Dude, spiders are the worst for Andromeda. They're so hard to hit reliably. And an enemy that keeps fucking spawning them is no good. God damn it. Yeah, was 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 a, a, a rather confusing one. Other than that, there wasn't really anything else that I can remember of note, like anything major. It was just like this, ah, this, this really, really strange, like, it's kind of like I got a it's fucking spider again. Like this section of a dream that I got. But I, didn't, I didn't really get the whole picture. I just kind of got a little bit of it. I really wish there was a better way to kill spiders with this dude. Look at this. It's so hard to get them. Um, Nord Leaf is not good enough. Two burn hearts. Considering they get... That gave me two half soul hearts. Great. Uh, the Glass D100. Well, that's... Uh, that's going to be saved for another time. That could be rather interesting. At least we've got our health back. But losing... Getting one soul heart for the cost of an item room is pretty piss poor, i got to say. Right. Ragman. Again, is another boss that isn't super easy for us because it's, for one, spiders. And any enemies that move sporadically or chase you as Andromeda are particularly quite hard, in my opinion. And that this includes both of those. Because Ragman himself chases, the spiders move quite sporadically. Luckily, we can take them out relatively separate from one another. In a way. This isn't the one that respawns them either, which is nice just really hard to actually hit the thing you want to hit with this guy i've got to be honest he doesn't spawn uh, respawn them but he oh wait no did he respawn them maybe he did i thought it was only one champion version that could do that okay well we got hit and there you go anyways we've got this random path mod on so we'll see where we end up going we go to burning basement we're just going to take it as it comes it allows us to see a lot of variety i'm going to take a risk here took a gamble it was maybe worth it this isn't very good because shot speed does nothing for us. That's very bad. Um, I took a gamble there. Does they, do these still destroy rocks? I don't know. They do. Good. Okay. That's good at least. I feel like it's going to get me hit at some point, but we'll get to that when we come to it. It's a risk that I've taken on. This is a room where I feel like it could hit me because I've got very little maneuverability. Took care of that for me that nicely though. Thank you. At least we've got two items now where the Glass D100 rerolls are going to be more valuable. This is another room where it's problematic. At least coming down makes it significantly 
significantly more um, easy to understand where we're about to get hit from. I've not really managed to utilize it for much. I basically wanted it for that one room with the golden chest. But it lasts for a minute, so I guess we're stuck with it. Okay, we're doing we're doing fine. We got a key for our item room. Um, we definitely want to gravity shift that bad boy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yes, we got cancer. That is fantastic for us right now. Okay, this is a hard room. These enemies are not as easy as they once were. They're a lot cooler, and they do have less HP as well. Okay, I think we're out of the out of the pain zone now with our feet stomps. Really? That golden penny hardly paid out. At least we got up to 15, so if we get a key, we can utilize our shot. We'll see about that. We shall see about that. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Speedy boy. Glass D20. Is that useful at all to us? I guess I'll just use it there to see what we get. We got a penny. I was, I was hoping for a key, obviously. But yeah, now now I'm less inclined to use my uh, my glass D100. This room is not okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm less I'm less inclined to use my glass D100 now because um, I I have a very good item in cancer, so gave us a lot of good health and the. Uh, Active effect of it is really good. Hey, we got that. We can go to our shop now. Which has secret stash. Um, I think we want this instead. And then if we can get another penny, we buy secret stash as well. We'll see. We might be able to get another penny um, over from this uh, golden chest over here. We shall see. Okay. Cranked that. Probably should have utilized a bot um, the feet earlier to crack that open. Wait, what? I picked up a penny and I'm still at 14 cents? What do you mean? Was I at 13 cents? Maybe I was. Oh no! I used a penny to open the golden chest, of course. Fool. Right, we're by secret stash now. Strength is pretty good for the boss fight here. I'm just going to leave my glass D100 now. I think it's... Ah, no, it could, it could be fun. It could be fun. I'll keep it. Okay, these little fire dudes are a pain. Honestly, Andromeda against Fiend Folio scares me so much. Ah, I don't know how to deal with this enemy. There's so many things that chase us. Like I said, enemies that chase us are very, very, very tough. Okay, these guys' fires are, like, blocking all of my shots. Got through it eventually. Probably want to use my strength card for the boss itself, though. Okay, these guys are doing the fire charge. Oh, my God, I suck. I suck. I suck so hard at this game. Wow. I really do. There's very much something wrong with my internal workings of my brain. I don't know what it is, but I just can't play right now. Anyways, back to the question of the day topic. Yeah, dreams are weird, aren't they? Dreams are just... I don't know. It's... It's so weird how, like... I don't know. Sometimes you can just have them so vivid, and sometimes there's something you don't remember at all. I can go months without ever remembering a dream. And then, like, sometimes I'll just remember one particular one, like, extremely vividly. For seemingly no reason. I still remember one time, so we've got max HP there, what floor are we going to? Catacombs, okay. Um, I still remember one time where, uh, like, in school, I had, like, an extremely, extremely vivid dream about going to school and, like, literally it being a normal day. And that was it. And then I woke up and I still had to go to school. I was like, this is bullshit. I just did this. Like... <laughs> I woke up feeling like I'd just done a full day's work of school. Like, I, it was the most dull dream ever, but it proper felt like a full day. It was really vivid. And yeah, I was like, after the fact, I was like, oh, well, 
Sucks to be you, I guess. You've just done a full day of school. Sorry, that was just your brain lying to you. Now you have to go do it again. <laughs> I was like, excuse me, this doesn't seem at all fair. Can't I call in and be like, excuse me, but I dreamt I already did this. I've already learned my lessons. Like, <laughs> like the, the, the funny thing is as well, like, it was a very vivid dream, but I don't remember what I was taught during the day. What the fuck did my brain imagine me being taught? <laughs> like, you can't imagine information you don't already know. So what the hell was my brain doing? What was I teaching myself in these times? I, I, I'm genuinely perplexed by that. <laughs> I must have just been like bringing up old information that I didn't remember very well or something. I don't know, because otherwise like, yeah, I was teaching myself absolute nonsense. But I remember like being in the lessons and stuff. I mean, I think at the time I probably did remember because it was very vivid, but now I don't remember so much. But yeah, that was just, it was like the most vivid dream I think I've ever had. And it sucked. <laughs> I was like, excuse me, I want a refund on this vivid dream, please. Everyone else is like, oh, I had this super vivid dream where I got to, like, sleep with a celebrity or, like, do one of, do one of the really expensive, like, activities, like, that you can't normally do in real life. Or I got to, like, meet my hero or I got to do all, and I'm like, yeah, I got to fucking go to school. Yay, I guess. Thanks, Bryn. It's like, serves you right for having hopes and dreams, I guess. This guy's eating up lots of stuff. Planetarium here. Mars. No. <laughs> but we did get Juno. Oh, Juno is insane. I don't know why the pits went gold. I don't know why everything went gold. The, go the door went gold. Is it supposed to go gold? That's bizarre. I like those glass chests. I wish they showed show up a little more often. They seem to be planetarium exclusive. Okay, Juno. We've seen it before. It is insane. It is absolutely nutty. Enemies can respawn when you kill them, become your followers. They stick with you through rooms. It's just all round bonkers. Die, please. You've got a gargantuan amount of health. Could you die, please? There you go. We don't have an active item yet, so I'll actually take that. We got Fate, that's rather nice. A pill here. I can see forever's really good. We do need some more money now, though. We are now almost ex almost entirely out of money. Hey, with flight, we can get over here. And over here. Hello, candle fella. So when we hit this guy, he produces flames by the looks of it. Nice. Okay, so health is looking a lot better now. Kessa Conquest is doing some things with these dudes. Extra key there. We don't really need keys for anything at the minute. Apart from key beggars. We see key beggars. We need to make sure to play them. Okay, these guys are leaving down. Are they are they egg sacks the ones that just produce the, the white spiders? They are. Okay. So these guys are mostly just annoyances. Oh, no. Okay, no, they can shoot too. <laughs> I was like, okay, they're just going to be there to, like, annoy us for the rest of the room. Nah, this guy unleashes a, a barrage of cum shots. No, thank you, sir. By the way, if any of you haven't done this yet, just take some time. Take a little bit of time to go and take a little look through the files of Fiend Folio. Look at some of the uh, different enemies, like all the images and stuff and the, the sprites. Because there is some really, really weird stuff. Like really strange it's it's quite hilarious actually how many like just strange and weird things are so okay they are friendlies okay i don't think the friendly white spiders do anything for us because they don't deal damage but at least he does that i think one one of the things with juno that makes it so overpowered is for one its chances of, of giving you a, a guy back is pretty high but also it charms as well so it's like they, they help you in death and in life Seems nutty. It's made more powerful with Fiendfolia as well when there's more enemies to go at. Ancient Recall. Ancient Recall. Favors Bravery. What? Don't know what that did. I've absolutely no idea. 
Spider unboxing. Hello there. Okay. Definitely some more damage and fire rate. We're actually lacking on both of those departments right now. I'll let my spider buddy do his thing. Spawn some stuff for me. He's dead. Doesn't matter. I had high hopes for him, but he's dead now. Okay, it seems like an enemy has to pop that egg sack for me. I can't do it. Okay. Definitely the, the run without familiars and stuff feels a little little lacking. We've not really got the damage to uphold. We're getting there, but like slowly. I think that's better. Yes, it is. Okay, good. And then we got an angel deal. Nice. Holy mantle. Still not damage, but still pretty damn good. Uh, Maggie's Faith is also pretty good here for us too. We'll take that. Um, and this wasn't a coin flip flaw, weirdly enough. Hmm. I'm confused. This takes us to Caves too. I left it on everywhere. I'm confused. Golden Bombs. Hey ho, that's pretty good. We've got Holy Mantles we can get in here for free. Wasn't worth anything to us, but it could give us a little friend to follow us around, maybe? Nope. That would be too good for us. You reforming fella, get bombed. Nice. Hey, we got this guy out. Getting reform enemies as, as followers is really good. What do these guys do? Okay, these guys are the item using ones, but that guy actually used a space bar item. Oh, now this guy could be interesting. Is he going to use that box of spiders every room? Maybe not. That would have been a bit insane. We'll see. He might might do it again. I don't know. It looks like he's only going to do it the once, though. Which, I mean, he's still pretty good. Or maybe he does it again once his spiders are dead. I'm hoping he survives long enough for us to find out, to be honest. Right now, we don't know. Ooh, that's a lot of various different poops for us. Hard to tell who's who and what's what, I'll be honest. Don't even know why I went in here, I'll be honest. I need my pennies more than ever right now. Okay. Got a nice... I love those those tree trunks. We have a nice amount of followers here. Haha! -ha! You ain't got no bombs to use now, fella. What are you going to do? Stole them all from you. Didn't expect to have flight, did you? A mime degree. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, go for this. Yeah. Okay. Plus area mime. Okay. There's some glitchy looking items in here. Is that intentional? I feel like it's not. Anyways, I am gonna take Libra. And I didn't regret it. Huzzah. I didn't regret it. It's very rare, but. I didn't regret it. But Juno is taking over. Kill time. Addicted. Damn. I think I might go for a D100 roll pretty soon. This run's fun. We got some cool stuff. But we just... I don't know. Apart from Juno, there's nothing really, like, huge in this run. And I feel like we could maybe go a bit harder. I, I realize, obviously, we'll lose Holy Mantle from that, which would be devastating. But the Glass D100 speaks to me. It really does. It speaks to me. We got that guy as a follower now. How does that work? Farts on enemies and they blow up. Eternal Heart there. Nice. Come on, fellas. Get in there. Like where the, the the fatty doesn't have like the pink sort of purple shader on him and neither does the um, box of spiders guy. They're just chilling. They don't need no shader on them. But yeah, even with that, even with our friends here, bosses aren't really going down all that fast. Let's see what we get from this boss. So we get safety pin here. We get this. I'm going to take a gamble here and take both. Right. 
Next floor. After this next floor, we're re-rolling. After this next floor, we are going for it. We'll see what health we end up on. And then we go. Ooh, that was cool. I, t I, I, uh, I little horned that guy and reformed him as my own. Okay, now this dude. This dude scares me. Because this dude spawns more. He spawns more fellas. We don't want one of them on our side. We saw what happened with that last time. Created issues for us. Rather large issues, in fact. Ooh, there's some evil laughing going on in here. Oh, hello. 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 You scare me. Are you just here until the end of the room? You are good. That was a bit scary. Whoa, what the hell's this thing? There's a brain box in the middle. That becomes our own now. Nice. Cool card here. Are you going to spawn anything or are you just you on your own? We got God's Flesh here as well. Let's take that. We want anything we can reroll. I really like these enemies, by the way. These ones that have this like rotating brain around them. It's not. It's, a, it's like a different take on the um, the host face brain enemies, whatever you call them, where you shoot the back of the head. Whoa, what the hell are these things? Is the eyes bouncing around? Ow. Addicted? I don't really think we need an addicted pill, do we? Right, I, we've, we've got a significant amount more items, especially that aren't very good to utilize now. And our health is looking better too, so... Once we've seen our item room this floor, we go for it. Shop isn't super useful for us right now, but I could buy a soul heart, actually. Check it out. There you go, buy a soul heart. What the hell's this? Grants five bombs. Bombs fill pits when they explode. That's a really, really cool item there. I like that idea. Anywhere to, like, to, to add flight without directly adding flight, I like. Like, things that allow you to grab things over pits or, like, do stuff like that. I really like those items. Got another set of these dudes here. Stand with the chains. Ooh, we got, like, a fucking dude with a burn spear dude running the things. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, our damage just definitely isn't enough right now. Emperor. I love these little turd dudes as well. Planetarium here. Wasn't expecting that. We can't fly over this, can we? Okay, so this guy we've got to just bait. We've got one of these ghosts that's making things a little more difficult as well. This is a really, really cool idea for like a room and a challenge. Okay. Saturnus is pretty good. We'll leave that there. Kind of fits the theme of this character as well. Quite nicely. So here's our boss room. What do we get there? Glass D10. I don't know if the Glass D10 is ever going to be useful, but I'm glad it exists. It's nice to have stuff like that. These enemies always spook the hell out of me. The brain goes running away. We got Quince as well. Okay. We glass D100 right now. We got Spurred. Okay, we got Fruitcake, which is an item I love. We got Birthright. Um, we got some damage up. We got Pact. We got Money Equals Power. I think overall this is better. And we still get Quince. We get that as well. Okay, I think this is pretty good. Fruitcake especially, I love fruitcake. I think damage-wise is going to be pretty good. Of course we lose all of our friends now, they're all going to perish pretty quickly. we still got one left. I imagine he won't be around for long. Yeah, he's, he's gone now. Extra fire it. And we get to randomize our paths to the deck. Yeah, well, the path randomizer makes a bit more sense to me now. I was just a bit stupid before. 
having stuff like the Glass D100 is such such a, like interesting and fun pickups to spice up your run. Oop, we got like guide it. Wait, what? Now I'm just confused. What, what? Okay. He eventually did die. I was like, how do I get out of here? There's no button. I thought there'd be a button at the end of that. But yeah, I think fruitcake in itself is what's given us enough damage. I mean, to be fair, we do have 13 damage now compared to previously where we had three. So that's a, a pretty big bonus. Maybe we want to do a beast run. We haven't done a beast run so far, so let's do a beast run. If we can, that is. Yeah, okay. We, oh no, that is a telepills, actually. I was like, oh no, we can't, we can't get a teleport, but that is a teleport. I mean, telepills could give us, take us to an error room, so it's not flawless. But that was pretty funny. I was like, no, we can't, we've got, um, we can't get a full card. And then I got a teleport pill anyways. Sometimes the um, reroll rooms reroll your active, and sometimes they don't. I don't really get that. The watcher is on me. Didn't last long though. Right, let's let's just do this straight away. Actually, mm, I'm gonna gamble. I'm gonna gamble. I'm just gonna do it straight away. Oh, the mother fight music is popping off. Take that. Grab that. Perfection, why not? At this stage, why not? You watch us lose it immediately in this exact fight. No, no, I think we're going to be good. Bump of Gold as well is pretty good here. And then Telepills. I was, I was really thinking we were going to get an error room there. Okay. I think for, for the depths, we've seen a lot of the new enemies now. Not all of them, but quite a lot of them. 2020. Thank goodness we didn't bail on this floor. Oh, that disc item so good. Right, back we go. One second. Let's carry on. Let's go. So we can leave now. Where uh, I think it's all the way back over there. Both of those guys picked tech. I don't know, I'd have to like I'd love to see like a, an in-depth look at those guys, see what items they can actually get and like which one's the most deadly. Cause I bet there's some of them that are really, really difficult. Right. The first time going beast. Oh wait. Or what? That's confusing. Cause What? <laughs> Why would it go straight to corpse? Shouldn't it go to mausoleum first or go to um, womb? Corpse is like, I don't, I don't understand. I guess we're doing corpse. <laughs> so, not beast then, <laughs> I guess. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this mod. It kind of makes things a little too wacky. I like being able to pick where I'm going at least somewhat. God damn, this, this, this build really is a lot better than our previous, isn't it? What on earth is that? I did not know what that thing was, but it scared me. Okay, whoa. There's some really cool enemies on corpse here. One of them teleported. We got some godhead tears in here as well. What's this guy? A tooth shot dude? Oh, we it doesn't matter. We turned him into a poop. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of corpse enemies I haven't seen yet, I'm sure. And a lot of them right now that we're going to be immediately turning into poops. Or otherwise. Okay, there's a few runes. We got an Anzus. We'll take another Anzus for the next floor, I think. I thought runes would have turned into pills as well, but maybe not. Okay, boss time. Rock good. You're probably going to go down pretty quick. Okay. 
It shouldn't be too hard of a fight. In fact, it's a very, very fast fight. I only got hit once as well, which is pretty damn good. Whoa, look at all the tiny tears going around us. What's that from? That's really good. Twisted Pair is a must-have. And then where, where are we going now? Now we're going to the womb. This is... <laughs> this is so weird. This is so weird. This is confusing. Look at the tiny tears. I don't know. I'm just testing this mod out. It might not be the best thing to use for this. It's kind of interesting, but it corpse is significantly harder than womb from, uh, from or at least it's supposed to be. Ooh, this is a really cool enemy. Uh, or at least it's supposed to be, so I don't know if that's like the best one-to-one -one going from corpse to the womb. I don't know. People have to let me know what they think. Yeah, sort of that's for where it should be showing up in runs sort of thing. Well, that's good. I'll take that. Blessed Penny. We're kind of at the point now we're just wrecking through rooms here. Look at that. <laughs> Who knows what these enemies do? We annihilate them all. I love that tree looking guy. Extra black heart there. The black heart's from, I think that's from Old Serpent's Kiss shots or something. I don't know. Fruitcake has some weird properties. Why it's one of the best items in the game. So it can pull from wisps and all sorts. Any tier effect in the game it can pull from. And some of those include ones that create runes or black hearts. It's also creating some very interesting lag on occasion. As you can probably see. Well, what's this guy? Again, we won't know. He's a poop now. They either are a poop or got 10 to gold. That's all we ever know about them. All the information we get. Oh, slowing, it's crazy. Like, look at look at these little shadows. You see these little tiny pixels rotating around my character. These little tiny shadows. All of those are tears that are miles above me. And they're slowly getting bigger because of their uh, lump of coal. And I don't know what's causing them to be created. It only happens sometimes, but it's wacky when it does. Seems the longer I'm in a room, the higher hand chance it has of happening. There you go, it happened, look. You can see the old the little tiny ones. Gamble! Huzzah! Okay, what do we have? We have neither the Polaroid or the negative, because we traded it in. See, this is this is where the issues start to arise. I went to the beast path, got taken to the corpse, went to the womb, and now I don't have a Polaroid or negative. <laughs> See, it causes some issues. This is a crazy run. Barely get to see what any of the enemies do. There's something in there that destroys rocks, apparently. There's so many tears, so there's so many fruitcake effects going on. I reckon this could be our demise here if I'm not careful. Because I can't really see when he's shooting me. Ah. We have bugged the game. You see all those little tiny specks? They've come back. They are lacking the game. The, the specks are getting larger, slowly but surely. They are. Lump of coal is doing its thing. If they touch an enemy, they might kill it instantly. We don't know. Oh, they, they, they are, they did exactly that, yes. That's what they did. Invisible tears. 
And that's it. That's the run over. Yeah, so I might disable that mod for now because that shouldn't be happening. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.